I agree. Good job. Also, I'll try my best to find time to watch your special for 500 subs. So when you upload them, spam me the link. Reason why I didn't watch the one minute review, it's cause it's relevant to me, but your success matters a bit more. So I'll watch the special. You have potential, so it's just the views and some small polishing like improving the thumbnails and stuff like that. So it's not that hard, but you gotta give all your best to get in. No, you are not the worst content creator. No one is the worst content creator. The first time I met you, you were so kind and special to me. I took a stare at your channel and I found out that your content is underrated. This is why I sub to your channel. I even plan to share your channel to my friends because you deserve some support and subscribers because that's how I help people to grow your channel up. Anyway, you are not the worst content creator and you will never gonna be the worst one. I like you and I love your channel. Once I'm able to community post, I'll give you a shout out. Now it just came back again. It's a great opportunity for you to get into the content creator program. If the video goes viral, generally this is the best shot you have for a couple of days. That's why I'm telling you. I'll edit a tiny bit of it so you won't have to put much effort in. This is kinda my theory test, if you're up to it. Could be better to upload a whole van review at once. Brings more attention because people will search new van review. Learning about keywords will help. Don't worry bro, if you quit Pixel Gun, I understand, but I will still support you on YouTube. You are always going to be the best. You do put effort, that isn't the problem. The problem I see is thumbnails, titles and your lack of effective channel research. I'll be more careful tomorrow. Savage, thank you for commenting. Let me know if you want to be part in my next video. If you do, i let you know when and what will you have to do. I missed you a lot bro. I'm so glad you're finally back. I'm glad I can help you out. You put effort into the videos. Especially when it comes to speaking. Yeah, English is not my first language too. Keep it up! Savage tried to dox me after I done to help him. Without proof in my Discord server. Pixel Striker, thanks for letting me know. Kalen is supporting to you. He still has in his channel for Cloud. I told Chacha and Lord Spaceman to remove me completely after he called me a bad YouTuber. In his recent video, but Chacha told me he doesn't care. Proof again on my server. Anyways, trying to get someone ducks because they blocked you is not okay. You don't allow this type of people in the content creator program, so you can forget about it. All the proofs you need can be found on my server. Again, stay safe. Savage, I'm really disappointed in you. We have seen your true corners and we regret helping you. If you don't know what's up, this guy shot with dog seriously Andy, even after he offered him a huge help to join content creator program because Andy blocked him for being unnecessary toxic towards him. Apparently he's trying to recover uh, from this by faking an apology and acting like it wasn't him who has done this. Don't accept his apology. Oh, by the way, if you are reading this, say farewell to the content creator program. You're not going to get in. Welcome to the Hall of Shame. You tried what? Getting in this personal info is illegal. What the heck are you doing? See, this is where you're wrong. We only care about fame but not your actual fans, who care about you. Hello, you don't have to ask Shaggy, because to join content creator program, you have to DM me because I accept this decision. I heard about some interesting stuff about you. When Eddie advised you to me at the first time, I was about to let you in for a trial, but unfortunately, after all the toxic things you've done, I don't think that it's still possible. After all, I made a poll between the content creator program members and most of them voted against you. Hello everyone, today I want to talk about me, you know, living peace on Thursday, reasons why and everything. And this time, I think I might be gone for good. You already saw by the intro, like, the in what I was trying to represent 
from this intro well, you know by those messages that you just saw was that how much people actually used to help me and support me until all the drama happened and everything and now from like i went from being like the most you know like i went from being evil but most love to uh, depressed and really hated you know and yes i like i i, I because you know i wanted to inspire people and everything i want to help other developers i also wanted to earn money and everything uh i just started fo focusing on nothing but fame anymore and i got so focused on it so caught up in it that i completely lost myself as who i was and i ended up somehow just trying to talk to one of my youtube partners and yeah, I didn't even know, as I said this, I didn't even know that I was doxing him at first. Like, I thought that doxing was all, only when you search for someone's information, but then also post it online and everything. But I guess I was wrong. As soon as you search for someone's information, it's, uh, it already counts as doxing. Either way, even if I will, wouldn't that count as doxing, it's still pretty bad trying to get someone's personal information without their permission and everything. Uh, and also that I try to act as like Hermes. It's just a sign that I completely lost myself as who I was because I, I was I started pretending to be like Hermes and everything. It was just started to get the situation started to get completely out of hand, and then uh, the whole mess was created and everything. And so yeah, overall I really miss the those times when I actually inspired people and I was a, I was a good YouTuber and everything when I. When I had a bunch of people helping me out, so many content creators, not just underrated and small ones, but also a big ones that relied on my content. They loved it and everything. And look at um, where my, you know, that focusing on fame thing and got, getting caught up in it got me. This is just like, if you're a YouTuber, then take this as a life lesson because uh, the point is that. Uh, like never get caught up on fame like I did because you can end just creating a big mess like I did and it's the last thing you ever want to do trust me like you know, what I did was horrible and and even if people don't believe me because they don't they lost trust in me because ever since I was like oh I'm alive I'm always going to be like Hermes blah 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 they lost trust in me and now uh, they don't believe me everything anything I say and you know now yeah, like I, I do regret uh, doing this because like I don't even you know how to say this but uh, it was just stupid what I did and people don't believe me because of what uh, how I reacted and everything I even said that I would fake an apology but my apology was actually real uh, now people will not of course you guys probably don't believe me but the point is that I this is something that I just said once it popped up in my head it was like oh i'm gonna fake an apology but then after 10 minutes i already forgot that i even said that uh, and then you know when i thought that people like when i made an apology uh people uh, thought that i was faking it all and basically uh the things went even worse because of it uh instead of you know maybe calming down and everything even though the, what i done shouldn't have been come down but still because what i've done is unacceptable and i try to talk a content maker who is almost at 20k uh subscribers if he's not by uh at 20k by the time the video is published now already and someone who, who like who actually really wanted me to to stop potential in me and someone who really wanted me to be a good youtuber and everything and i just I just messed up it all i just messed up really badly and also not gonna lie when i say that this actually just shows how much i really care about my fans i never knew that i really care about people that much i never but it just shows like my this drama showed me uh how much i really care about what has happened how people actually feel about this like i never knew that i would actually uh, get uh, i never knew that i would feel so guilty and hurt after getting exposed but here i am being the like the absolutely hurt and uh depressed what else guilty everything like 
I'm always thinking, I'm always thinking like of this drama. What have I done? What am I thinking? What I was thinking? And I even then has thoughts of like uh, repaying back Andy right away, like making it up for him, like because I also feel super bad for him because he also probably felt horrible during the drama. He didn't want this to happen. He didn't want to see me here in the first place. But I also appreciate even if what I did was unacceptable and very horrible and just stupid. I also really appreciate the people who actually forgave me and understood me during the drama. It just shows that people actually, those people, they, they really hate no one and actually just go with the old, uh, well basically, you know, even, I mean, uh, I understand why people didn't actually feel bad for me because I've done, what I've done was some very, was very serious and even illegal and even dangerous. And the drama has greatly affected me. I have changed to a completely changed now and I don't even know. Like, I, I need to clear my mind. I'm gonna take a big break now and then, like, return around November. I'm gonna take a month, like, I don't know, one month break because I need to seriously clear my mind after what happened. And I, this is, this is, I will probably remember this for the rest of my life. I will probably seriously not forget about what happened, what I've done and everything. Don't well, worry guys, I, I won't quit. I even won't quit because I'm going to rip because I'll still play it off camera because I still like the game. I will just leave this community because even either way, there is also a bunch of dramas happening and also that I'm not, people don't welcome me here well because I'm basically like Hermes point two now, you know, people you hate Hermes and so that, do now me. Basically, most of the people who hate Hermes also hate me now and well no, it just I'm really familiar to him now because I acted like him and even worse even try to dox someone. Even Hermes would never try to freaking dox someone. Even if he wasn't in content creator program. The only reason why Hermes is actually very nice and everything and like you know mature and everything is because he's in content creator program and doesn't fake codes, promo codes and all that stuff. Because otherwise he would get kicked. But like the the worst part here is that like you know, if I wanted to inspire people like in the community, I wanted to make the community a better place. I wanted to make the freaking. I wanted to inspire people, just spread positivity, nothing else. But I got caught up in fame, and I did the worst thing possible. I done the complete opposite, man. Like people now hate me, and that shouldn't be happening. I should have been disappointing anybody. I spread negative negativity instead of positivity. Like I was a good YouTuber, and everything was going great. But then, just something snapped in my snapped inside. When I had like dark thoughts and trying to get someone's personal information and boom, here I am. And I just support a bunch of people as I said like, uh, when I actually made, I was really happy when I actually made people happy now that I made uh, everyone disappointed and blah blah blah. And all of the stuff that I actually watch, you know, go back and watch all of the stuff back when I supported, like when, back when seriously Andy helped me. Like, and we were good friends. It's all just nostalgia for me now. It brings back terrible memories. So that's why I need to clear my mind. Get off the internet for one month to, um, you know, to for a fresh start. And to think of what content should I record next. So I'm not quitting the game. I'm not quitting YouTube. But I am leaving the Gunter community now for good. And that will be it for today's video. I think, I'm, I, think I already said enough. Thanks for watching this video, everyone who still watched it. And yeah, without further ado, I will see you in November, I guess.